Um, I've just been out in terms of crossing street in Port Douglas and they're filming Fool's Gold and just taken some footage of Matthew McConaughey um, but I might be recording over it now I'm gonna have a look I'll have to go and film some more if I have okay bye bye some weird birds building a weird nest in our garden I'm gonna go and have a look at them Somewhere. <laughs> Sad. Come over, come over here, say hello. Built a big hole, and now they're filling it back in again. We're going to do a river cruise. We've come at the best time of the day because there's only us two and it's one o'clock and we are here. Oh, can you read that? There, and we're going to see some of those, hopefully. They haven't seen one. I think we saw one this morning. Uh, Mum likes these plants. Yep. I don't know what that is. It's hanging down. Good. There. Wet paint, look out. Right. <laughs> yeah, it smells good. Yeah. <sighs> Whoa. Cheers. Where, where's the, where are you going to be talking from? Up here? Yeah, yeah. You can move. Anywhere you like. Best seats yeah. are the ones without the teeth, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> now, these are one of the oldest palms in the world, this way to wild stuff, and as you can see, it's got a lot of protection. That's the main stem there with all those needles on it. Yeah. And it comes in Gosh, out yeah. in these things. You can see the spikes on the leaves, even little mm. tiny spikes on the actual. Um, why do they have those then? What? Just the protection. Protection. You know? But this is why they call it wait a while. See that stuff there? All you've got to do oh, is touch right, it yeah. and you won't get yeah. away. You yeah. have to unhook yourself. And that's really strong. You could tow a car with it. Really? really? It won't break off. The only way you can do it is unhook yourself. Uh-huh. That's why they call it wait a while. And what, what did you say this snake was called again? Uh, George. <laughs> George. Hey, George, wake up. <laughs> no, common tree snake. Common tree snake. Have you got any Greek blood in you? Greek tree Not that we know Have you take a bit of snake skin to the casino or whatever, it brings unfathomable luck. All right. Really? Yeah. See his head on the left hand side of that. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah. Okay. There. Right there in the water. There in the water. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, I'm filming him well without knowing. Hey, mate. Yeah, no, they do like to stick to the same areas if they can, Crocs. They are territorial, but if a larger one was to come along, they'd be a bit more careful. They can get out there and 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 they some birds nesting around your house. They like to hang their nest off your veranda or your awnings and it's probably because we don't get a lot of tree snakes around us. It's mainly tree snakes that eat their eggs and chicks. Right. They use spider web to bind their nest together but if you want to attract them to your home you just tie a bit of string off your veranda and put a couple of cotton wall balls near it and they'll soon start to make a nest. They <laughs> have any fear of humans when they're nesting. If you eat your meals on your veranda, they'll sometimes nest within a few metres of you. So they actually use people for protection. And a snake in comparison. There he is. Straight through there. See so that branch going up, yeah. just to the left of it. Oh, right, yes. That's a python. How did you see that? So, uh, 
They're a constrictor snake. They're non-venomous, but they've got two rows of long needle sharp teeth that run down the sides of their mouth, and all of their teeth point backwards. And then at the front, they've got hook teeth, top and bottom. So they grab the prey, wrap round it, crush it, and then swallow it whole. The knife that would ooze out a reddish brown substance called tenon. That's what they used to use for tanning crocodile hides and leathers about the same. Oh, right. And they extract it from those types. There, while the nest was active, you'd find a cleared area behind there of about three metres in diameter. So we'll clear the area with a tail, scrape all the debris out to a pile in the middle, about a metre high, and then they lay an average of about 50 eggs in the nest. Cover that up with more debris as it decomposes. That'll generate the heat to incubate the eggs. Then it takes three months for the eggs to incubate. Oh. Didn't get him off of <laughs> Have you bloody... seen the Phantom, the movie? No. It was a lousy move, but you see that peak up there? Yeah. And that blob is that skull mount that the movie that Ah, uh, right. It's a big river, isn't it? Yeah, it's wide, it's but river. quite shallow. When the tide runs right out, you're starting to see sandbars up here all over the place. And then there's normally a deeper channel on one of those sides of the river. Most of it is shallow. That makes it all the more suitable for the crocs that are warm, shallow, murky water. Two people sit in front of her and keep eye contact with her. The other guy goes around the side of her with the broomstick. When she's watching the two guys, he'll poke her in the ribs with the broomstick. She'll go like that at the broomstick and then turn back at the ones that are watching her. He'll do that again, she'll do it again. He'll do it again, and you'll see the confusion will set in and she'll just walk straight away from the nest about 30 feet. The guy with the broomstick numbers each egg, they put it back in the nest, then they go to the next one, and the next one will react exactly the same. Huh? They go back, they go back to the egg. No, the, the, the female will, she'll go back to the nest, but they'll just move on then to another nest and do the same thing, you know. And they do hundreds of nests each year, they never get eaten. <laughs> Two metres. Wow. In rainforest by quite a large margin mainly because I wasn't affected by the last ice age. Oh. So everything up here has had a lot longer than the What is that? What thing is that? that oh, there's a snake hanging off it. Where? Yeah. See the net thing? Yeah. And now Cape Tribulation. On, uh, I don't, well we're not quite there, we're on Cow's Bay. So this is Cow's Bay. This is the oldest rainforest in the world and it's also the only rainforest in the world which meets the sea. How about that? So we're happy, but we can't go in there. These are the stingers. That's where Captain Cook ran aground. Yeah. Crocodiles inhabit this area, attacks may cause injury or death. Keep well away from the water's edge and do not enter the water. Take extreme care, blah 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 blah. Right, let's have a wander up to the water's edge then, see if we can get eaten by a crocodile. Uh, crocs! I'm kind of hoping there aren't any crocodiles here really, because we've still got a few things to do. I don't want to. Spend the rest of my time in Cairns in a Cairns hospital. Still. If you get nipped, you get nipped, I suppose. Just left Port Douglas and we're going somewhere on a boat to snorkel. Let us know when you're going to be sick, I'll come. Our way to the second reef. I've just been stung by a jellyfish. It doesn't hurt that much.
Half you back. I want a medium. <laughs> I think there's a few hundred people here that are thinking the same thing. <laughs> I want you to smile when I take a picture. Well, we're in Tasmania on Bruni Island, South Bruni Island. And I've only just remembered I've got the video camera and I've been missing loads of stuff, but it's stuff like this. It is, without a doubt, the most beautiful place I have ever been in my life. It's unbelievable. Um, I've picked a really bad place to start filming, but... Still on the South Island, about five minutes up the road from where I was a second ago. Not the perfect lookout post, but bloody hell, look at that. Good. Well, we're going to go to the fudge factory now. Right, this is where we're staying. You like it? I love it. It's our little hut. Number one. Great. And oh, hello, mate. Excuse me. I'll we'll have a little walk over here. Bit of a pathway. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, Jesus. Yep, I can handle this. Uh, just a few hundred metres up the beach from where we were before. We've got a shop there. It took us pretty ever to find. Bad me. And uh, just having a bite to eat on the beach. Yeah. Who's that there, look? Who's that there? Who's that? <laughs> Stuff in a little face. He's like a hamster. Dum 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 dum. Anyway, yeah. Apparently, just spoke to a guy who said that they're, um, well, he's been living here 18 years, and every now and again, well, more often than every now and again, he'll see whales in this bay, 50 up to 50 metres from the shore. So, uh, keep my eyes peeled for those. And I've just spoken to the guys who got back from the boat trip today, and they saw humpbacks, whales. It's absolutely freezing in there. He's looking quite happy, so it's must be quite warm anyway. So, there he is. Hello. Hello. The first one to get wet. I'm bloody freezing. He's bloody freezing. There you go. Warm right, isn't it? Warm right, isn't it? Oh, we're staying just behind where I'm walking now, over there, and I'm just going to have a wander over and see if I can see some wildlife. Anyway, here we go. Oh, I can see something a little bit odd. Mum saw it earlier. This might look a little bit freaky. We've got ducks, and then I'm sure I'm supposed to come in here, but I just wanted to film this little fella over there, which is a white giraffe. 
Apparently, uh, only in Tasmania will you find those. What are you looking at? Hey, what are you looking at? What's that there? Look above you. It's a proper one. Hello. Apparently they're not albinos. There you go. 